to whom you're going to give your vote on January 5th, 2023. What I can tell you is that the condition today here, with the little rain that we had, the place is flooded. You guys are in this shanty house where there is a lot of hazard as far as the weather is concerned. And as, an, as, as a member of parliament, if you give me that opportunity, I will make sure that every person will get a place that he can do his business. I will build stalls. I will put a tarmac road here. I will put a light on this street. And I will look, make this, be this place look better for your business to thrive. We need to bring up our community up. We are all hustlers in one way or another. We are all making ends meet. And always you need a leader that cares, a leader that knows that what you are doing right now, you are raising kids with such small business, paying school fees and, and supporting family. So for that matter, I would like to empower the men and women who are working in small businesses. I would like to empower our youth and get them a job. And those who I cannot get a job, I would like to empower them in other ways by getting a small business, creating a small business for them and other avenues that like, we can assist them. Our town is never safe anymore. People are threatened. There is theft that is going on and a crime that is, is increasing by the number. I want to make sure that safety prevails. Without safety, there is no development. Without safety, we cannot enjoy our town. And I want to ask to make something before the matter gets out of hand. I have been talking to the authorities around. I have spoke with the county commissioner, the deputy county commissioner, the OSBD. I have been discussing on how we can make this town peaceful. And if I'm elected, I'm sure I will have the leverage to make sure that we can stay our town peacefully without fear. And our youth that didn't have a job for long, and maybe because of hunger and because of being an idol, that some of the problems is as a result of that, I would like to contain them in programs that can help them. Programs that can make them busy rather than committing a crime. So I just want you guys to give me your votes. I know I can make a change. Garissa need a change. That is 100%. Unless we have a change, we will remain in the same condition. I am sure the last 15 years, 20 years, we were doing the same things over and over. And nothing has changed. And when things happen like that, it is you to decide. The vote is yours. That is the deciding factor. It's so powerful. You can elect me today. You can elect someone else tomorrow. You can hire me and fire me. Then why do you keep somebody somewhere for a long time? And again, that person brings his own person and tells you, you must elect this other person. That's not any logic anyway in it. So I want you guys to make your mind and choose a leader that you prefer, a leader that you think what he's saying is sincere and can help the society.